Thank you very much. And meanwhile, a different look. After decades of avoiding politics at the Fed, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen now is hitting the road to help promote the president's economic agenda. Elon Moy has details. Elon. Well, John, she's in Atlanta today. It's her first domestic trip as Treasury Secretary. And her main message is that the trillions of dollars in spending the president has proposed are essential for the U.S. to remain the world's superpower. So my largest concern is not what are the risks if we make these big investments. It is what is the cost if we don't. Now, Yellen called out four destructive forces that threaten the nation's long-term growth, declining labor force participation, wage polarization, racial inequality, and climate change. Fiscal policy can help unwind them, or the lack thereof can intensify them. And we know this because that's exactly what's happened over the past 40 years. Yellen is hoping this trip will help rally public support for both the bipartisan infrastructure bill and Democrats' own $3.5 trillion spending package. She also made that case privately to business leaders this morning, including Ed Bastian of Delta Airlines, John Hope Bryan of Operation Hope, Ryan Marshall of Pulte Group, and Alfredo Rivera, North American president at Coke. Now, John Yellen did acknowledge that there's a good faith debate over how much government spending is too much, but she said that now is actually the most fiscally strategic time to make these investments. Back over to you. Yeah, it's interesting. I wonder, as you look at the various economic spokespeople that President Biden has at his disposal, what is the benefit or liability of having a former Fed chair who knows so many business leaders and is used to, I guess, the, the, the hot lights uh, of, of, you know, perception <laughs> and watching every word she says? Yeah, so she is someone who has a lot of credibility, I think, both with business leaders and with lawmakers on Capitol Hill. So when she talks, she doesn't really sound like sort of a partisan player. She sounds like someone who's explaining the president's priorities, though she is making a forceful case for them. However, the flip side, she's not a wheeler and dealer. She's not the person in the room haggling those last final details of the bills with lawmakers directly. Uh, president Biden, in fact, likes to do that himself quite often. All right. Well, we'll see if they can get their agenda across the finish line. Elon, thanks.